I notice people carry around a lot more facial tension than is necessary. And when your face is tense, it usually produces wrinkles. So the most common tensions are the, the brow gets furrowed. It's like, hmm, I'm really concentrating here. I really have to work. Hmm. Well, this is really painful. This is difficult. Hmm. The other thing that people really do is tense around the eyes. Like, or people also carry a lot of tension around their lips, like right in here. Another other thing that I do a lot, and I know this is very common, is tension in the jaw. So, mm. so when you clench the jaw, it's going to tighten your neck. When you tighten your neck, that's going to send tightness and compression throughout your body because there are more joints in your neck than anywhere else in your body. So anything that's going on in here, it's going to affect here, which is then going to radiate down through your body. So I work with my students to notice their tension patterns. So not letting go of unnecessary tension in the jaw. This is not by doing anything with the jaw, it's by undoing. It's by letting go of tightening in the jaw. So basically if your teeth are coming together, except for in rare instances of, of chewing or some other examples, it's almost always bad for you. It's almost always unnecessary tightness and compression in the jaw. So one way that you can release this is by fully articulating the word Boston. Notice the second syllable of Boston, when you fully articulate it, Boston, takes your lower jaw down and away, it kind of releases it into what the dentist will call the physiologic rest position. So it's not being held, it's neither being pulled in or pushed away, but it's just in its ideal resting position. So if you can release the jaw, you can release the neck, you can start to release the face from that necessary tension, you start to release the wrinkles, you start to release the unnecessary postures of the face, like, hmm, or, hey. Like if you try to force a smile, it's very different than if you're smiling from inside, genuinely alive to the moment. So when you release unnecessary tension, wrinkles, compression, postures of the face, things, ways that you think, oh, I need to look like this, then you can be more alive to the moment. So that when someone says something funny, or shares something painful, or says something fascinating, you can be alive to that moment, you can be real, you can be in the present, rather than being stuck in the past, or worrying about the future. And that's going to transform how you come across, it's going to transform the amount of facial tension that you carry, and it's going to make you much more alive and joyous.